What's going on everyone? Juan Valdez here and in my last few videos I've been getting tons of great feedback from you guys So thank you guys so much, but I've also been getting frequently asked about Facebook ads right different things about Facebook ads You know, how do you uh, scale your ads? How do you pick a uh, really good interest in you know audiences that go after? How do you create the ads and a whole lot more right? So I figured why not take a second to kind of go through and give you guys value with some things that have been working really well for me uh, when it comes to Facebook ads video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some unique things that I do for Facebook targeting specifically and how you can really be efficient because I know for a fact that when it comes to Facebook ads it's not easy like day in and day out I get tons of messages of tons of different people that try out Facebook ads and it just doesn't work right and in reality it's just you know you have to be patient and you have to really learn all the ins and outs and really be efficient with Facebook ads so uh, we'll just get right into it uh, I have a good amount of things I want to go over so uh, to kind of get started, right, when it comes to Facebook ads, obviously it isn't something you guys are going to learn right away, right? Some of you guys that are watching, you may already be experts with Facebook ads and you already may have had success with Facebook ads, but for those of you guys that have it, don't worry, it takes time, right? It's like everything else, it just, it's something you have to practice, test, and you know, really give time until you actually start seeing results. Um, so, one of the first things you know, we're, in this video, before I actually say that, in this video, we're going to cover specifically Facebook ad targeting, right? And when it comes to finding the right interest and audiences to go after, it does take time and testing, right? The reason why that is is because some audiences and some interest groups are just a lot better than the others. That's just how, you know, it works with advertising. And so that's something you guys have to be mentally prepared for, right? It's not like you're going to set up your ad, pick a random interest or targeting and run it. And then right away you can expect to see results. That's not how it works, right? Uh, obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a waiting game. Like you have to do the research, find the right targeting, narrow it down, and then from there, even after you launch your ad, like you still have to wait for your Facebook ads to optimize or Facebook to find out who your ideal customer is and all that great stuff, right? So even if you did everything correctly, like you still have to wait for Facebook. And so that's why you have to be mentally prepared that it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be something that's gonna take time, right? It's not gonna happen overnight. So uh, I wanted to make sure I got that right out the gate. Finding the right interest in the audience does take time. Well, one of the things you always wanna do though, because when it comes to finding the right kind of interest in audiences to go after, it does take time and like it's gonna get honestly like a little annoying because you're gonna have to keep doing it. Now the way you can avoid that is by taking the time, you know, obviously the, it all depends on, you know, what kind of products you guys are selling, whether if you have specific niche products or if you have general products, the targeting is gonna be different for both. So one of the things you guys wanna do is as you're going through and you're finding out, um, you're researching different interests and um, audiences to kind of target and go after, you wanna start making notes of the different targeting options that you find for that audience. And I'll get into detail with exactly what I mean by that. But basically for me, what I like to do, and this is something you guys can do as well, is I like to start with common interest uh, that I can kind of go after, right? So you guys may have already heard about going after like magazines, people that are interested in using specific kind of magazines. Well, let's say you guys are selling, uh, you know, like let's say, uh, uh, a product that's in the outdoor space, right? That's like a perfect camping product. Well, then you can research like camping magazines and obviously start to find them that come up and start targeting and go after those. Now from there, what you can then do is after that, look up, you know, hunting and camping like brands, right? And you can start looking for brands. But what you want to do is as you're searching and you're doing research on, you know, either brands, magazines, whatever the case may be, some of these common interests that people usually research and go after is you want to make notes of them, right? So for example, what I like to do specifically is I like to use Facebook audience insights because it gives you a ton of data. But on top of insights, I like to use this feature inside of the campaign, the Facebook ad campaign builder that shows you different suggestions suggestions once you type in a specific interest. So what I mean by that is I have my laptop right here so I can actually show you guys real quick. So obviously, you know, you're setting up your, uh, with that zoom in, you're setting up your campaigns. That's how that looks. Now, once you pick whatever you're gonna do, either conversion or PPE, whatever kind of campaign, you go to, let me just have it pull up here in a second. So in the audience section where, or the detailed targeting section, right here on Facebook when you're creating your ad, 
once you type in either a specific brand or magazine, uh, usually what I like to do is start off with one. So if I'm gonna do brands, I'll start off with brands and I'll try to find all the brands that I can. But what I'll do is I'll use Facebook because Facebook already has a ton of data, right? So use it to your advantage. And so one of the things I'll do is I'll type it into the detailed targeting bar and once I, I type it in, you can hit the suggestions button right next to it. And Facebook is gonna automatically load up a lot of similar magazines or brands that are related to the one that you typed in. And so from there, once it loads all these different kinds of um, suggestions and competitors that you can also go after, I would then pull up either an Excel sheet or a note section and save the suggestions that they're suggesting to you. And doing that, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna allow you to be able to reference and not even have to think about the targeting if you ever come back and wanna sell other camping products or other products related in the same niche. And that makes things a lot easier. So I like to keep things personally organized. And one of the things I would do is I'll set up either an Excel, I have an Excel that I personally use, if not the notes section. And so for every single niche or um, category of products that I'm thinking about selling, I'll set up and save the targeting for them already. So for example, I have like in my Excel sheet, I have a brands and then I'll have um, obviously whatever targeting I'm going after, whether whatever niche I'm going after, maybe outdoor or any general products. And then I'll list all the brands right there, right? And next to that, all the magazines that are there and competitors. And that makes it super easy for me to target not only for that product, but other products and services as well. And so, um, obviously you want to start off with the most common ones like brands, magazines, you can also go after fan pages and you can do these exact same things for fan pages. And not only can you do these same things for fan pages for the three most common interests that I just spoke about, but you can do it for any interest. You can always take one specific interest, put it into Facebook, and it'll pop up other suggestions that you can also go after and use for the audiences and interests you're going after. So that's one. Uh, or a few of the things that I like to do specifically with Facebook. Now, obviously everybody knows who, or a lot of people that you know use Facebook ads know they usually go after brands, magazines, and fan pages. But after you go after those and you thoroughly research, because one of the things I like to do also is really research uh, according to what kind of interest I'm gonna go after, right? Because I wouldn't wanna target the wrong brands. I wouldn't wanna target the wrong magazines and I wouldn't wanna target the wrong fan pages. So. Um, I usually do take Facebook's word for it as far as like their suggestions, but I do double check to make sure that it's actually accurate with the product that I'm selling and niche that I'm going after. And uh, that way it actually makes sense, right? Because you don't want to waste any money. So I like to double check that. And then what I like to do from there is if you run out and let's say you already, you know, you have a difficult product that for some reason you can't find too many brands, magazines, or fan pages to go after. Well, I have a, I also have another list of different interests uh, and kind of uh, targeting options, as you can say, that you can actually go after. So, for example, if I have a product that, again, I can't find anything else to target, I'd start thinking about association groups, right? Is there like big camping associations that I can possibly target and um, put my ad in front of? Um, is that a good audience? Well, what I would do is I'll look up different camp, if there's any camping associations, which there is because I've actually tried them on myself. Uh, you can look them up and research them, make sure that they're actually in the their camping specific associations. And obviously, if you find a camping association, usually people are very passionate to associations because usually these associations stand behind something else uh, or behind like a bigger picture or a, a, a specific message or movement. And so usually those are really powerful. But associations is something, uh, another interest you can go after, depending on obviously what uh, kinds of um, products you're offering. You can also go after celebrities that are in the niche. Uh, obviously it all depends. There's celebrities in the outdoor space, there's celebrity in the general product, whether you're selling like accessories, gadgets, iPhone cases, you can find a uh, celebrities to kind of go after and target as well. Um, movies, you can find specific movies or documentaries to also go after on Facebook and they usually have a lot of them on there as well. Um, you can also go after different equipment. Uh, if you know that you know you have a product that most likely goes really well with like an example, another camping equipment, well you can also target that piece of equipment and use that as an audience you're gonna go after as well. Uh, you also have events. Uh, you can also find like huge events. For example, if you have like 
products that could be related to an event like called Coachella, right? Music festival product. Well, that's an event you can go after, right? Uh, field of study. You can check different fields of study because obviously fields of study is a specific interest that somebody is interested in. And Facebook knows uh, the kind of people that are interested in many different fields of studies. And so you guys can use these different targeting or interest op targeting options or different interests, whichever one you want to call it, to also go after on top of the most common interests that people usually go after. And so uh, these have helped me a ton personally because sometimes I, I find products that are a little bit hard to harder harder to target with just like brands, magazines, and fan pages. And so I have to find other ways to kind of branch out and you know find different audiences to kind of go after. So. Uh, I hope that helps you guys. That's you know something that's been working really well for me. I know a lot of you guys that are following me have had a lot of questions with Facebook. And Facebook is like something that a lot of people struggle with. So I hope you guys uh, picked up a thing or two along with this video. If you guys did, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like for the boy. And if you guys have any questions in regard to Facebook ads, drop it in the comments below. Uh, I do my best to get back to you guys. I usually do. I'm pretty good with that. And if there's anything else specifically you guys would want to see with Facebook, I'm planning on making a lot more Facebook ad content, but if there's specific things that you guys want to see, also drop it in the comments below, and I'll make sure to do my best to do a video around it. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and also turn on post notifications so you always know when I drop new videos. Without further ado, I don't even know why I said without further ado. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm burnt out. About to head to the gym. You guys have a good day. Peace.